Hello and welcome to another episode here on the War of the Rebellion channel. Today we are going to start a new series where we are going to explore material I covered in my book Liberty and Slavery published by LSU Press. In the series we are going to look at a number of individuals, migrants from Austria-Hungary, Poland, Germany and Ireland and how they experienced European revolutionary events, how they came to the United States and witnessed the War of the Rebellion and in a few cases also what they did after the War of the Rebellion. Alexander Asbos, born December 18, 1811, near Lake Balaton in Hungary. We don't know much about Asbos' early life. We know that his father was in agriculture. We know that Asbos decided to not enter the military and instead pursue academic studies. His biographers vary one side claiming that he attended a Berg Academy in Salaminic Bianc, yeah. and another set of biographers claiming that he attended the Institutum Geometricum in Pest. He attended one of them. We're not 100% sure which one. He was part of the radical movement in 1848 demanding more freedoms against the Austro-Hungarian rulers. In the course of the conflict between Hungary and the Habsburg dynasty, Aspas was a military man. He joined the Hungarian army. He was a lieutenant colonel serving in the Ministry of War under Arthur Gerge, one of Hungary's most successful generals during the rebellion. In August of 1849. He is loyal to Cassus, to the death loyal to Cassus. Of course, Cassus doesn't go to death. Instead, he flees Hungary when the cause turns south to Turkey. He is among the Hungarians that left with Cassus and also on the US warship sent to the Ottoman Empire to bring Cassus to the United States and an asylum. While Cassus does not make that journey, Aspas does. Leaving the Ottoman Empire in September of 1851, they come into New York Harbor on November 10 to a great big welcome. From here, Aspas, like so many immigrants, struggles to figure out what to do. But thanks to his upbringing in the engineering world, there are a few opportunities that arise. He decides to put his engineering skills to work. He works on railroad projects on the Syracuse and New York line and Binghamton and New York line. He also helps with the layout and construction of Central Park by Frederick Law Olmsted. While we don't know much about him, 
The one thing that is important for Asbos as he goes into the Wars of Balian era is that he has military experiences in a conflict against an overwhelming enemy as part of a failed independence movement. But he will not end up on the side you may expect when the Wars of Rebellion starts. If these brief episodes sparked your interest about the individuals covered, please consider not only subscribing and liking this channel, commenting on this episode, but also looking into purchasing my book, Liberty and Slavery, published by LSU Press.